Hello, good day, and welcome to Starling Battle for Atlas, the last NPC thing released. It was Skylanders, Disney Infinity, Lego Dimensions, all done in 2017 or 2018, and this one came out in 2019 for some reason. It was a pretty interesting release as it featured Star Fox on the Nintendo Switch version. It comes with a pilot called Mason Rana the chip, Zenith, a flamethrower shredder and frost barrage. The shredder is useless uh, and these two are very useful, so what's the point? Here's a picture of everything that comes inside the box. You can see, well, the other things that you can collect and uh, these are featured in the poster as well, similar to Skylanders posters. And here it explains how the game works. Well, it's time to open the box, 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 box. As you can see, it comes with a lot of things. Well, let's start by looking at what was not featured in the back of the box, this warranty thing. Well, this is the poster that I won't open, it looks fine, I'm always glad that something comes with a poster, and here's the PlayStation 4 game, it's a basic PlayStation 4 case, still a new one, whatever, and it needs 25 gigabytes for installation, here you have everything that you need, the mount, has a connection for the PlayStation 4 thing, but it doesn't seem to connect actually to the controller, it's just a plastic thing. It actually con connects to the console. First, let's look at the Zenith. As you can see, it's a dumb design because the pilot looks over here, and these magnets have electricity flowing through them, and you can see shit. But, anyways, you can do this. Or this, you know, and the pilot goes inside. Flamethrower, you can connect it like so, or just do this. Frost missiles. So, my usual setup is like this. And well, how do you connect this here? Everything has a connection. It looks like a plastic thing, but it has a chip going through it. And it sounds like it is polyester or something. And also here. And there you have it. That's the entire setup for the thing, well, without the controller. So what do I think of the game? It's pretty cool actually, because it has many connecting pieces. Much like Skylander Swap Force or other things, Imaginators also. It's like the technology grew a lot and you could do a lot more with it. But sadly the game, it's like um, a farm fest. I don't know how to call it. It's go over there, go over there, go over there. It has some impressive moments for me at least, like traveling from planet to planet. I, I think that my biggest problem is that there is this section that you need to protect and that you can sell things for it. And the station doesn't seem to recover its life and it's very hard to not shoot it while there are enemies there because the enemies are small 
and even though I have already saved the station like three times, every time I come over there, it's still infested with enemies. So it's a pretty shitty station actually. I remember I did, I was in the middle of a mission and I had the entire thing almost complete. I needed, I had the materials, but for some reason I dropped it. By mistake, I don't know, maybe an enemy pushed me or something. And I had to... I, I don't know what happened. I couldn't find it again. And then I traveled to another planet and the character told me I need that material. So I went back and the material was nowhere to be found. So maybe I found a glitch and that destroyed my enjoyment for the game. But that's okay, I, it can still be played, there is a lot to do in it, but there is a lot to do that feels like a show. So, I might revisit this game again. It's not like LEGO Dimensions that I didn't like at all. And I try to go back and I never do it, I don't know, I, I keep trying and I never do it. I can go back to Skylanders, no problem. Um, Disney Infinity haven't, uh, it's not a very enjoyable experience, but it's not Lego Dimension with his wars. But anyways, this one, I will say that I feel with it like the, with Disney Infinity. But I think that the gimmick is better. So playing it, it's not that bad. I mean, the gameplay, the feeling, the, the, the feeling of controlling the ship. The problem is the gameplay loop, because many of the things that happen in it are not that interesting or fun to do. The game is not worth 70 bucks. In fact, I bought it for less than 20, I think. And if the game, I, I, it was 70 bucks, it was 100 bucks, I don't remember, but if the game was released at the same price as other games, this would have been better. But anyways, thank you for watching and have a good time. I will replay this game some other day.